North Africa, Libyans already struggling to make ends meet have been hit by sharp increases in bread prices as a broken import system and political splits have led to more financial pressures on ordinary citizens. The price of bread, the staple of Libya's diet, shot up, adding financial burdens to the Libyan people, many of whom had already been struggling to survive. Bakeries across the capital Tripoli had abruptly closed two weeks ago, explaining to puzzled customers that they have been forced to shut down due to high flour and oil prices. When they reopened, they posted apologetic notes pricing three small loaves at one Libyan dinner, which before had bought eight. It isn't suitable, especially for those with limited income in addition to the liquidity crisis. And a family with four, five or six children cannot afford to pay a dinar for three pieces of bread. God only knows how bad the situation is. When I want to make a sandwich for my son, it used to be one loaf, but now it's half a loaf. Some days we do not buy bread. I'm not going to lie, we are not able to buy this. Some days I have to buy on credit, but bread needs liquidity. They will not give bread on credit. Life has become really difficult in Libya. Oil-rich Libya, with a population estimated at 6.5 million, was once one of the richest countries in the region. Before the 2011 uprising that overthrew Muammar Gaddafi, lavish subsidies meant one dinner bought 40 loaves of bread. Jamal al shabani the Tripoli-based head of Libya's state-run price stabilization fund, said only the state could guarantee a fair and stable bread price. But they had not been allocated money for supplying wheat or flour in the past three years. The idea was that since the state was incapable of filling the subsidy gap due to a decrease in oil revenues, maybe to 200,000 barrels and the drop in oil prices, which meant the state is unable to cover the subsidy, so the matter was left to the private sector. But in the light of the inability of government agencies to monitor or hold the private sector accountable, and in light of the issues we're witnessing with the supply, we finally know the reasons behind the drop in wheat, flour, and in other goods as well. Economic woes in Libya accelerated in 2014 when competing governments, parliaments and central banks were set up in Tripoli and the East following disputed elections. And that's it on Network Africa. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tony Zopwe